Watch you guys got another video on how to completely turn off Windows Defender in Windows 10. Now this was requested on my Discord server. Apparently uh, someone said that they were watching Chris Titus text video saying that you can no longer disable uh, Windows Defender. And uh, that's simply not true. You can actually still dis disable Windows Defender uh, via a group policy and a bunch of other ways and i'll show you how to do it so you can see we've got windows defender all activated and working here now if you install another antivirus program this will generally disable it automatically for you but if you want to physically do it then toggle all of these to the off position like i'm doing right here once they are all off what you can do is go down to the search box down on the bottom left hand corner and what we're going to do is uh, do a search for the task uh, scheduler or scheduler depending on how you pronounce it and then open this up once you've got this open you can then go to the task scheduler library and then go to microsoft then windows open this up and then come down to where it says windows defender inside here you'll see there is windows defender listed inside here click on this one and you'll see they're all running so you can highlight all these they're saying ready here and what you want to do is you can either click on uh, disable or right click and disable. You don't want to delete these, just hit the disable button. Now they're all disabled. What you want to do here is go to your group policy editor by typing GP edit inside here. And this will open up the group policy editor. From here, you want to go to computer configuration, administrative templates, and then windows components. Now where I think Chris Titus Tech has got confused is he's gone down to windows security and he said that the actual uh, disable uh, Windows Defender has been removed from here, so you can't turn it off anymore. You can still turn it off in Group Policy Editor, and I'll show you where to find it. It's basically not in the Windows Security area where you'd think it would be listed, but it's basically listed up above it. Let me just go back up the uh, list here, and you'll see it listed up here. So when you go up here, you'll see Microsoft Defender Antivirus, Click on there and you will see turn off Microsoft uh, Defender antivirus. Now be careful here because once you go inside here, it will ask you to uh, disable or enable uh, your uh, preference here. Now if you click on disable, it's going to basically run and continue to run in the background. So that's not what you want to do. You actually want to click on enable here. And then once you click enable, you'll be able to reboot the system and that should then turn off your Windows Microsoft Defender antivirus program. So you will need to restart the system. And uh, basically, once we restart the system, I'll go back in and I'll show you exactly what it looks like once we've done this. Now, you'll see here it can still be disabled quite easily. And it was probably just a minor mistake or an oversight on his part by missing that um, feature there. But when you go back into update and security, uh, and into the Windows security area, you should see now there's a white shield there. And when you click on this, it does state that it has been disabled. Now you can see it says your virus and threat protection is managed by your organization, which is our group policy setting. No active antivirus provider, uh, your device is vulnerable. That means we don't have any antivirus program on here and we've completely disabled our protection. That's not advisable and you do want to run some sort of antivirus suite on your system just to keep you safe from malware, ransomware and other types of infections on the internet. Now let me just go back down to the task scheduler or scheduler depending on how you say it and then open this up here. And what you'll see here when we go back in here is that those um, areas have been disabled. So you don't physically need to go in here and disable these in your uh, area here for the Windows Defender because this will automatically be disabled by your group policy. So it is still possible to do it by group policy, but if you really want to be thorough, you can do that and it will completely disable it as you can see here. So let me go ahead and re enable all of this and show you another way to do it if you don't have the group policy editor and you still want to disable it, you will need to be able to use uh, third party software. So let me go back in here and re-enable all of this. So if you do want to re-enable it, just go back in and toggle this to the not configured position and basically click apply and OK. And this will re-enable your antivirus uh, software or Windows Defender on your Windows 10 system. 
So we're going to open up the command prompt here, and I'm just going to quickly um, change and update our policies here by doing GP update and push enter, and this will update the policy to make sure that it's enabled again. And uh, once that's done, you can see it's successfully done there. We can now go back into our update and security and look for our Windows Defend. You'll see a little red cross there. Just restart the service here and it should be up and running. And you can restart your system and toggle all these back on. And you can also go back into the um, task scheduler and just basically uh, check that to make sure they are all running and they're not disabled because you want to make sure that's all enabled. Once that's all done, I'll show you how to go ahead and uh, and disable or enable this very simply if you've got Windows 10 Home. It's very simple and easy to do. Now remember, you don't have to do any of this stuff if you're just installing an antivirus program. It will automatically disable it for you automatically. So let me go back in here now, and you can see everything is running okay, and we're all back up and running and we can go in here and you can uh, basically manage and control your folder access and all your other stuff if you want to use Windows Defender, that is. So let me show you how you can easily enable or disable Windows Defender uh, if you're using Windows 10 Home and you don't have the group policy editor. You can use something like Defender Control, and this is third-party software, but basically what this will do is allow you to enable or disable uh, the Windows Defender program with one click of a button it's very simple and easy to do so when you come down here look at all of the information here the virus total there's no viruses built into this software you can come down and there should be a little download button right at the very bottom click on that and it will download the software and extract it onto a folder onto your desktop run this as administrator and basically you should see a program like this with a green button here click on this disable and it will then go red and then when we go back into our update and security and check our settings you can see now it's just give us a policy saying that your virus and threat protection is managed by your organization and uh, you can see here it's now disabled but if i want to enable it i just click on enable and basically go back in here refresh and change the page and you can see here automatically it's now enabled again so it works like a, a group policy uh, basically using this software very simple and easy to do so if you've got windows uh, 10 home and you want to disable it and you don't use it you can use this software very simple and easy to do or you can just still uh, set up a registry file to toggle this off and disable it that way if you want to do that but basically it's very simple and easy to do so as you can see microsoft haven't removed uh, the disable feature from the group policy editor it's still there and it still works uh, but you can still use that method and also for home users you can use that little application if you want to uh, disable it yourself if you have no plans of installing any sort of antivirus program anyway hope this one's been some sort of use to you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a big shout out to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support enjoy your weekend and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now